Testing, one, two, three. Check, check. Good afternoon. I'm Kill the Vid, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. And this afternoon, I have a special, brand spanking new Let's Play Classic of Mafia 2 Classic Edition. Yes, you heard correctly. Classic Edition. Why the Classic Edition of Mafia 2? Well, it's been discovered that Mafia 2 Definitive Edition actually has a lot of bugs in it. So, plus... Between Mafia 1 and Mafia 3, which I've also played, I'm able to stream because I have a low-end video card, unfortunately. And if this is your first time joining me on my stream, please do me a solid. Like, follow, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I have a stream going on my YouTube and Twitch channel. So without any further ado, I bring you... Mafia 2 Classic Edition. So grab a snack, grab a drink, grab what you need. It's Let's Play Classic Mafia 2 on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. Here we go. My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Also, in-game music has all been turned off. Away from Sicily. Across the ocean. To start a new life. In America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. Look at the size of that rat, god damn. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work. And what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't gonna do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on Vito, hurry it up, we ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, <sighs> oh shit, we started a little business of our own. <laughs> Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! <sighs> Throw me the bag! Stop! I'm gonna shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry, Vito. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? <laughs> Chapter, Chapter 1, one.
the old country. Sicily, July 1943. Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Alright, Scaletta, take the shot. Allora, traditori, pensavate di poterci prendere in giro? Di tradirci? Avete pensato male? On me! Shit! I'm dead! I'm dead! Shit! Get out of here! Oh, fuck! Jesu! Aya! This guy's saying there's more troops headed this way. Correct. All right. You and Lee pick up the machine gun nest. Then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Naku! Thank you! Ain't getting through this way. We found the machine gun! Watch it! You got a grenade, Scalella! This will be a great fucking time to use! Put a grenade, Dulu! Toasty! Scaletta, you alive? Yeah, just about. Well, get off your ass and let's move it. Grab all the ammo Ooh, you can work. carry. Oh, this might be our last chance. Yes, shit. Back in the room. Okay, this is perfect. Prisoners upstairs. Going <laughs> to the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. You got it. Uccidete gli ostaggi! Non ci potete fare! They're gonna see your sneaky ass. Oh, Boom! Got him. Got him. The door, Scaletta! Kick it in! You got it. Arrey! Oh, you fat your saltari! Get down. Oh, that's a bitch. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Oh, shit. 
shit! How many of these fuckers are there? Who gives a fuck? Just keep shooting! What the hell are you find that doing? No, you're shooting me! Let's talk! Hey, my time to me, asshole! Walk away! Just fuck the shit! Just pop the shit! Just the shit! amico di stare attento fregatene di fare attenzione fai ciò che ti è stato detto Un congetto quando siamo arretati come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È lo stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiarci del posto. Ci arrendiamo. Sapete che potete fedarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. Chapter 2 Home Sweet Home. Two years later, Empire Bay, February 8, 1945. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Fido! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. Protein smoothies and shakes I've been making. That's what I'm drinking. There it is. Empire Bay. 
Tell the truth. You miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not now, like this place of course, don't need any favors, for those who don't know, Empire Bay is modeled after New York wet. City IRL. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. So, so is Liberty say, City keep up like and this for bottle. Don't worry, though. Four. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? <laughs> Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, now, right? Mind come you, on, that Vito, original on. Mafia the 2 came out in 2010, right after your romance funeral. and the definitive right edition, you out, the aforementioned definitive oh, edition, minutes, came out we're 10 years about later in 2020. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal, what was it like over there anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on, and you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Carlo. No shit. Don Colo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You the voice actors you set, hear in Mafia 2. Nice to that see you play busy. Vito yeah. Scaletta and, and metal, Joe right? Barbro are Pat himself. Rick oh, Pasqualone. So you're a real warrior, Rick huh? <laughs> and, and then what? Uh, you screwed Robert a couple Costanzo of Sicilian brothers and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. I'm familiar with Bobby Costanzo because he was the voice of Harvey Bullock. What a country. Here's to the Batman U.S. of A. and to having you back home. As well as TV shows at NYPD Blue, and he's been on a lot Salud. of stuff. Salud. Salud. The chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Each... So Mafia 2 actually has 15 chapters in the storyline in the main story. So Hey, Giuseppe. I'm going to spread Joe. this episode Remember, uh, for five last week, days, you know, Monday. The, guy, the, this the Monday guy's name is Friday, uh, so Vito that's be Scaletta. 3 chapters. Thanks, Giuseppe. Each. All right, I'll see you later. If you do the math, that's times 5. Of course, that's 15. Okay, listen so up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctor say you can't fight. 3 hours, no but What? Three chapters. Oh, 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 did you just... Like I said, I know people. Right now, you get all the official paperwork two. tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I going to pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Come on, Friday, you're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Let's go right into this uh, restaurant. This is a hey, Vito, down. look who's back. You're looking pretty good for a come guy in, who just gets shot. Come, come. Eat, eat, eat. You are too skinny. One steamy hot dog. Look at these prices. There you go. Euro. It's not gyro, it's euro. Get How out of my beer? face. How about another? One beer for you. More food for you. All right, let's go. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Francesca said you were coming back. Finally, some good news, eh? Yeah, no kidding. It's good to be back. You know, I'm real glad you're all right. Neighborhood just wasn't yeah, the I same without the you. Well, everything still looks the same around here, out. including you. So, uh, what are you doing later? Hey, you know, the usual cooking dinner for Tony and the kids. Oh, you got married? Boy, you didn't waste any time, huh? Come on, Vito. I'm 21 years old here. Of course I'm married with two kids. 
Yeah, well, it was real good seeing you. Say hello to your mother for me, will you? Excuse me. Hey, watch where you're going. Vito! Uh, hello, you? Mrs. Uh... Look, buddy, I, I don't want to know Vito? trouble. It is you. You look so handsome in that uniform. Your mother must be so proud. Uh... And what about poor Salvatore Montemaggiore? How is he doing? His poor mother was expecting him home a week ago. Yeah, uh, Sal joined the Navy. I'm in the Army. It's different. Why don't you come inside and have some tea with me, Vito? You could tell me all about it. Thanks, but uh, I'm kind of in a hurry. Uh, I just got back, and I can't wait to see my mother and Frankie. Such a pretty girl, that Francesca. It's a wonder she's not married yet. Well, say hello to your mother for me, Vito. Yep, I got a hero's welcome. Come on, Marie. Let him go. Yeah, we'll be right back. Forget it, you two. He's not going anywhere. It's just one lousy beer. Crazy broad. I like these random events happening in the city. Extra! Empire Bay Police Chief condemns black market gasoline stands! Right here! Empire Bay Police Chief condemns Hawaii. A long way from Japan. Hey, open your eyes. Did you see the stars and stripes? Yeah. Yeah, now I see. You got good eyes. Vito? Is that you? Hey, Mr. Manara. You closing the shop? Yeah, you know how it is. Can't afford to stay in business long. Wow, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, the war's not your fault, Vito. Who knows? Maybe when the war ends, I'll open up again. Hey, Sergeant Stantu. Well, uh, Back up. good luck Don't then. Don't you have a war to fight someplace? Hey, thanks, kid. Sounds like a domestic disturbance up in there. And they're, they're all speaking in their native Italian or Sicilian. Hey, Sergeant Stanford, let's get the hell out of here. What? Do I look like the enemy to you? They're definitely at each other's throats. Hi, Mama. <laughs> I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh, yeah. so oh. Sit down, Fine, sit down. Go. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Chicken soup. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benedice, Signore, la manciata, che porta volontà. Stiamo ricevendo provvide nel cuore che ci viene in mano. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. <sighs> so how you two been? Franny, what have you been up to? I still live here with Mama. I got a nice office job. It pays the bills, and I started paying off some of Papa's debts. Francesca, we don't want to talk about that now. 
How are you, mio bandino? It must have been so terrible. I was so afraid. I prayed for you every day. I'm okay, ma. I drove a jeep most of the time. Sometimes I had a fight. Well, gotta go to bed. <sighs> I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. Put on some clothes. I like the outfits in the DLC. This is the War Hero pack, but there are others. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your pup. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. So it looks like Mom wants me to go for the straight and narrow, but I'm actually going for a life of crime. Right. Now, the game does have some collectibles, however, some collectibles are questionable, such as the uh, play vintage Playboy magazines, which of course show nude to halfway 
nude women, so. And YouTube is a very stickler when it comes to certain content, so. That's something to be reminded of and to be wary of. So let's get out of the house, the apartment. To open and close the window. I don't give I'm a sorry. damn. I don't care we'll if you gotta money. sell everything hey, I you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole! Oh, yeah? yeah. Come on, Fighting Junior. Time. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on, show me what you... Vito, please. Oh. You're making it even Yeah, worse. take this ass whooping. Kicking his ass, that's what. Please, Vito, this isn't your problem. Oh, it is. You'll get yourself into more trouble, Vito. Teach this idiot a lesson. Please, Vito, this isn't your problem. It's very much my problem. Ooh, look at that. World star. Ah, fuck this. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. I find out that Vito's take sister, care of yourself. Francesca, is actually elder. Is bigger. Is actually older <sighs> I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. So let's go find Joe. There's also some random events in my head, too. Seconds ago. Crying out loud. What the hell's the matter with you now? It's taking you forever, and I'm cold. Just sit in the damn car if you're cold. It's cold in the car, too. Hurry up and fix this piece of junk. It'd get done a hell of a lot quicker if you quit nagging me and give me a hand. I am not nagging you. Yeah, uh huh? Well, if you're as good with a wrench as you were with your mouth, we could have this damn thing fixed already. Uh, you are so useless. It's no wonder the army wouldn't take you. Uh, you had to bring that up again, didn't you? Ethel's husband, Frank, he's a fighter pilot. Margaret's husband, Charlie, he drives a submarine. I'm warning you. My husband? Oh, he's a 4F. He works at the grocery store. You know what? Fix it yourself, then, you lousy bitch! Mm. 
Hey, need a hand? <sighs> sure do. Hope you're better at this thing than my good-for-nothing husband. There we go. All done. I just needed to, uh, screw a couple things in. Really? Well, <laughs> thank you Rotation. very much, handsome. Don't mention. Actually, Vito can break into these cars two ways, smashing the window or the use of lock picks, which we're about to find out. So, right now, I can't break into these vehicles. But eventually, I will. This is Joe's place. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live. Music would be playing in this cutscene. <laughs> this is a bad time. <laughs> we ain't getting out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Ugh, <laughs> you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. Yes. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Why do we have to stop when we can all have fun? The fun's over, baby. Later, I said. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, pants. Joey boy. That's Not hard. bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. Now, you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You gonna look for one? I don't know, but I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my old man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money, and punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you could stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. But it'll be killing Right now I'm living of off course. the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> Damn. I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You huh. said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. So Joe Barbaro had made it so that Vito doesn't have to go back to you serve made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last By three months. Having I barely his had time to furnish uh, the place. Three doctored. months? Holy shit. You just and forward so that he doesn't have to go set. in. 
Because you know me. Hey, why yo? Who's this skinny guy in the picture? <laughs> that was back in 41. Ah, you haven't changed at all. Yeah, they can no, get refreshments the out of the fridge. Yeah, fuck you. The good life will do that to you. There's even beer. And of course, this replenishes Vito's health. Even sandwiches. Don't mind if I do. If you empty out the consumables sleep. in the refrigerator, All yours. You won't be Whoa, able to get any more until the refrigerator is stuck hey, again. Oh, hey, I don't know how you did things in the army, but here it's only one man to a bed, all right? What, are you kidding me? After seeing the two broads that just left, I wouldn't touch that thing if you paid me. Uh-huh. You can also have the We did a lot of stupid shit radio. back then, huh? Yeah. Just wasn't the same after you left. Hey, it wasn't exactly a picnic for me either, you know? Yeah, I bet. But hey, all that's going to change now that you're back. If I wasn't streaming, I would have the music on. Look at this. You got your own phone. Yeah, and now you do too. Can't do business without it these days. Alright, let's split. And I should mention, just like in Mafia so you 3... you thought about what you're gonna do now? There are some uh, uh, racially disturbing uh, dialogue. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was going to do when you so got back? You are racially uh, sensitive. Really. Besides the usual, you. you know, find a nice girl, think settle of, like, down. Think of, like, Pulp Fiction or any watch any hey, uh, gangster-type film, right mafia-related film. There sure. is going to have the derogatory slurs of people from every walk of life. Hey, uh, you think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you're gonna let me drive a while. All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Off we go. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Now, there is a speed limiter option. I turn that on. That way you can be able to watch your speed. Because cops see you speeding or if you go past, you disobey traffic laws or you strike even if you go as far as striking other motorists' vehicles, whatever it's the cops or the public, or you, you do something like that and the cops around, they can come out and ticket you. Now you can either pay the ticket or you can resist arrest. And that's when they'll end up having to arrest you, of course. Hey Vito, you know what time Probably it is? It's daytime, how the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. <laughs> I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? So we're gonna boost the ride for Vito. There are various stores in Mafia 2, but the store that has the most money, and I say the most money, is the gun shop because not only can you purchase from You know, you really stores, wasn't too bad behind the wheel. You can also you still use them. a little practice, though. And you can actually go get gas. You just honk the horn like so. 
Looking good. Sure thing. All right. Almost done there, boss. We'll be back on the road at everything. See ya. The R57 to tank up. To top up. There's even a next door car wash. Very few people, very few streamers fail to notice that. All you gotta do is park and honk the horn. A nickel for a car wash? How point is that? as a whistle. Get a load of that baby. Nice. That's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that would be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe. Giuseppe. Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's got it. He even sells phony gun permits and discharge papers for guys tired of getting their asses shot off. Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir. All the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker uh, in Empire retired, Bay. please. How are you? The papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. This really gonna work? Nobody from the army will bother you again, trust me. You see? what I tell you? Here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. So these are forged documents that would deter... Vito from being re-enlisted re and sent back to the army. Uh, we need to set a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Um, I am. Seven dollars for some lockpicks. Okay. Grazie. But you can test it right now. Here. Take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock, she opens. Easy. So I take the uh, left joystick, adjust it until the lock, the inner workings turn green. And then once I do that, I hit the X button. Or is that the B button? Yeah. I think it, yeah, it's the B1 X button in my case. Once it turns green, that's when I hit the X button. Ah, oh, damn it! Make a mistake. You end up going to the previous lock. Okay, there we go. See you around, Giuseppe. Say Benedict. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll you get soon, the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. How often is that, Joe? You that careless to keep locking the keys in your car? Okay. You still feel like snagging that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. How to be a hoodlum by Joe Barbara. 
So this is the lockpick option. Press and hold. And some of the, these cars will actually have one lock or most of them will have three. It's not over yet. Lose him. Quick. Roger that. So when you steal these vehicles and get away from the right cops, right. you can actually go and take them to an auto shop and get everything from the license plate switch to actually get the car fully custom, even tuning. And the more tuned your vehicle is, the more chance you have escaping from enemy NPCs, including the police and other criminal gangs. Right now, this is the standard tuning. This is the first one you get is basic tuning. Supercharged to which is the highest. Don't move faster. Plus, being in the snow doesn't Looks like we lost it. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. You? I gotta go. Uh, Just sorry. find any body shop. I know the guy who runs it. How can I help you? First, we're gonna change the plate. New license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. There you go. So the car a couple of tweaks. Repair the car, of course. But this one goes foot in the bill for this. 
Hey, you around. looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. These are the available colors. And it's interactive with the paint cans. For what choice of color you want your vehicle to be. Done in a jiffy. Pick a color, any color. Basic tune. Now the car is tuned. Already got, did the wheel, so we're good to go. Bring it by any time. Now this car is officially mine. Even though I stole it. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. he probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss it. Hey, who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of, uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines. So maybe yeah, you won't have to wait, spend ladies. so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Yeah. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. Oh, here, here's a good Joe one. A barrel, hey, man. you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you know that? How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? Keep me the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? Hey, take it easy where the road curves up here. A couple of weeks ago, some guy went right through the damn guardrail and drowned it in the water. Yeah, it's breakable. Don't want to do that. But if you do, make sure you're on level surface ground. Like this. Well, guess what? It okay, break. now make a right here. Almost there. Make a right up here. Oh wait, I don't have it. I'll come back to the gun shop later.
Look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know? Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This, this here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Hey, uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike. You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. <laughs> you know, dry cleaning costs Jesus these days Christ. plenty. And who knows if they can even get this filled out. You shut up. <laughs> Vito, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a Moulinian neighborhood? Oh, Let's stick out like a sore thumb. Oh, oh, oh. All right, look, I'll give you 350 way, bucks Moulinian for it. It's worth the risk, story. right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Uh, Vito, come on, let's go on the ammo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. <laughs> okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, man. Eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. So we're gonna shoot out the tires first? Doesn't hurt to get closer. When you shoot at the tires, they're not gonna deflate instantly. So you gotta shoot at them several times so that they do. Oh, that one just got flat. Running out of bullets, so we got that joke. Leave gas in that thing. There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. So we're gonna stop at the gun shop. So we're gonna get a car for uh, Mike, and he's agreed to pay four hundred dollars. But first, we're going to stop at the gun shop anyway. Plus, I'm going to rob the owner. Spoiler alert. And get a double barrel and get a shotgun out of the deal in addition to money out of the register. It's a quick way of getting money. Also, too, is that since Mike Bruski runs a, an illegal scrap yard, I can acquire cars for him. Just to put under the question, they'll pay at least $400. So there's a lot of money making opportunities in this game. But between those two, they make the most. Come to criminality, possibilities are endless. So there are three radio stations in Mafia 2. The Delta Radio, which is my favorite, plays like some old school music from the 40s and then in the 50s, it becomes an R&B station. All right, go out the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. 
so there's a gun shop right here which I'm about to purchase from and to rob. Are you looking to buy a gun, or you just need some ammo? Just ammo. <laughs> gun ain't much without some ammo. Got that right. Once I get some more in which I'm about to do. So let's be... I'm gonna bide my time, wait for the cop to go away, and then I'm gonna... Unfortunately, take out the gun shop owner and rob the register. And take a shotgun and be on my way. You want me? I got you. Ah. Bye bye. Oh shit, for the cops now. Everybody get the hell out of here. Out we go. We're robbing everything. No, I ain't caught. Screw you. Let's get out of here before the cops. Cash rich, $774.69. Just made some money. By robbing. Now we gotta go over to San Island, which is, I guess, Harlem. Go oh, right so up. Black people there. So we're about to mix it with the brothers. Be back. Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, yep. pretty soon Sand Island's now. still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. No oh, shit. How the hell that happened? All the moolies flew south for the winter. <laughs> of course <laughs> it's still a shithole, Vito. You only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. <laughs> it's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that fish stall. By the way, I'm not offended by You're this. You carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days. Especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Got me a free gun. Two free friends. And what you buy the I guess what you buy these guns and stuff, they stay in your inventory and then you just get some ammo. Save money that way. There are some unique unlockable guns in my picture. But they're at exclusive stores. Take a left up here. Once again, I'm about to steal a car from my Bruce. It's easy peasy for real. But wow, I forgot how nice this neighborhood was. You know something? One of these days, I'm gonna buy a house here. Look at this guy. Ain't even back a day, and he's too good for his old neighborhood. Hey, hey we're breaking this is for this window shop. Where Vito It'll be years before I could afford a place like this. That is safe house. <laughs> You got champagne tastes and beer pockets, my friend. <laughs> Don't worry, though. I'm gonna help you change that.
are. It's that cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear the hiring down at the factory. Right, just asking. So Good luck, pal. Out. I see you back at Mike's. Over there. Ah, oh, shit. shit. What up, home skillet? Oh. What you doing, motherfucker? About to steal this ride, and you ain't gonna do shit about it, motherfucker. Do I look like I'm fucking scared? They're bad drivers. They're gonna just veer off the road and crash. Right. 
Go about your business, officer. Don't to see here. I should mention too is that if when you decide to rob certain businesses, they're gonna have police tape. So after about a day or two, the business will reopen, and then you'll be able to rob it again if you choose, like I do. Because they're gonna put some police line through that cross tape, like what you're about to see. See, it's a crime. It's considered a crime scene, so the owner's dead. Can't even enter there. get an active wanted level there's two ways you are wanted one the vehicle that you are in has been ID'd by the police and as long as you're driving around in that vehicle you're still wanted until you change out the tag and the appearance of the vehicle now the second wanted style of the wanted is personal for Vito if he's wearing a certain outfit he's instantly ID so he has to run to a clothing store purchase an outfit or steal some outfits to change his appearance to get the police off of his back. <laughs> hey, hey, mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately <laughs> tried to kill me right after you left. Ah, uh, probably the bombers. Not just their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Mmm, nice. No stains. Clean. Where'd the lowlife get the money for this? Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. <laughs> oh, I like your buddy, Joe. Here's your 400 bucks. 
stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All Me right, too. boys. I'll see you later. Here's your 300 bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, uh... All right, let's go home. Oh, I'm exhausted. That. that was an accident. Zip. I'm about to get some ad additional money. Because he's got a car crusher. I'm about to take a car and crush it to get some additional money. So watch this shit. Instant cash. See, as I said, there are playboys in here. I would do this like off stream. In fact, watch this. So, uh, if I got a car I want to get rid of... Yeah. Just bring it by and I'll take it off your hands if I can. And I'll make it worth your while. Thank you. I'm about to steal me another one. To pocket some money. to be yours anyway.
third mission, the third story mission, before I close out the school. Until tomorrow at the same time, of course. You should take the highway, Vito. Oh, you hit my car! No shit. I'll hit it again, too. This handle's pretty Right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. I didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. Nah, I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. So, uh, what's the story with Bruski? Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time we was at the track and some mitt spilled a beer on his wind ticket. <laughs> Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. For a lousy ten bucks, you believe that shit? Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. You'll see. Is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Like yeah, us. the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? Watch this. Oh, yeah. Ooh, jeez. see. 
stick like this. Let's try to get away from the up. Back away from the stick to get traveled. We have three people, three or more. Good buddy today. Make some if you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. You're hungry, Vito. Take whatever you want from the fridge. Right. I'm sleeping on the couch in the kitchen. Why there's a couch in the kitchen, I have no fucking idea. Hey, this is Joe's bed. I'm sleeping on the couch. I missed Joe when I was overseas, but, uh, not that much. yourself with beer. Let's go sleep. Chapter, Chapter three. three. Enemy, Enemy of the state. state. Joe's, Joe's apartment, 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 February 10th, 1945. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama.
Oh, uh, uh, hi there. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Mind your beeswax, kid. There's a gun shop nearby. I think I'll rob that too. Looking to fill up, boss. Full tank, please. Sure thing. Sorry about the prices, but gas keeps going up. It's tough times roll around, you know? Anything else I can do for you? Thank you. Come back anytime.
Hey. How can I help you? No license plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. Be done in a jiffy. You can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. Bring it by any time. Hey, welcome. How can I help you? See you around, pal.
Morning, mister. <laughs> Gun ain't much without some ammo. Buy you out, mister. That's good. Close the door, it's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papolato. Oh, yeah? Why? My name's Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, you all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, man? Huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. So why are you taking this old, your sweet old time to eat it? Uh, follow me. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Who the fuck wants to move boxes around all goddamn day? Mm -hmm. 
Jeez, all this for ten lousy bucks? You gotta be kidding me. Five fucking minutes I already hated. This game so far, this version of Mafia, Mafia 2. Mafia 1 was kind of fun, Mafia 3 was interesting and fun. Mafia 2, at least, I you know what? I don't need this chicken shit money. No, he's at his wits end. He's about to leave. Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. <laughs> don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait. You said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who wanna load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. What a He doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> My mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss. I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. He might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. 
I need someone to give him a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say yes, you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it in the Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's better than lugging crates around. All right, then. Get going. Now I gotta shake down and extort his workers for dues that they're supposed to be paying. I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. Hmm. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. I don't take nice things. Oh. <laughs> 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 your fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. I'll pay up, motherfucker. Next. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Hey. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. Huh. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Huh. Guess not. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? <laughs> right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. And say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Hey, Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's.
get to Freddy as quickly so I can do the last mission. At least for the stream, so I can conclude the stream on time. Yeah, what can I get you? There you go, drink up. One whiskey coming up. One beer coming up. There you go. Here you go. Hey, 
Where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shit all. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hey, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen. I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I sent you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got beef. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. Yeah, so long, buddy. Stop and get some gas. Hey, pal, can you fill up? Full tank, please. Sure thing, pal. Anything else I can do for you? Thank you. Goodbye. going on? How can I help you? Bring it by any time.
music is with the audio, so it's a mistake, but it's okay. Okay, that was intentional, so fairly new. Jingle was there. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get in through the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful, there's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. All right, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. I actually like this Jeep.
believe that when I see it. Now pipe down while I finish my puzzle. Ah, raspberries. I'm gonna go make the rounds. Good riddance to you. You got any plans for the weekend? Yeah, gonna relax and watch me some television. Well, you bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Mary's Uncle Lou passed away a few months back, left us some cash. And you bought yourself a television with it. That's what I did. You ought to see this thing. Seven inch black and white screen gets all three channels. Wow, sounds fascinating. What, you mean you ain't gonna get one? I'll stick with my newspaper and with my radio, thank you very much. This television's just a fad. We'll see about that, sonny boy. Yeah, so what does Mary think of it? She, uh, she ain't seen it yet. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. Oh, this is getting better by the minute. Oh, uh, she's been visiting a mother upstate. Oh, yeah, I see. And, uh, what have you been watching on that fancy television set of yours? Mostly cartoons. They ain't got much on right now, on account of the war. Cartoons? All, All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. Oh, man. Salesman said when the war's over, they're supposed to start showing ball games on it, too. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But listen, I was watching them cartoons, and it gave me an idea. Oh, here we go. Okay, Einstein, let's hear it. Now listen to this. What if you could control the cartoon? What do you mean? You know, control it. You could make the little guy on the screen do things. You could make him run around, drive a car. Maybe even uh, have him shoot a gun, shoot things with it. Hey, you've been sniffing glue. video games. How the hell are they gonna do that? <laughs> Listen, I ain't worked that out yet. Look, you probably have to have some sort of box with buttons on it that controls the guy on the screen. I mean, one button would make him walk, the other would make him shoot, one would maybe make him. Ah, uh, yeah, that's your brilliant idea, huh? That sounds interesting, but it ain't never gonna happen. Oh yeah? Huh. I'm sure someone will figure it out someday, and you can mark my words on that. Uh-huh. Sure they will. Right after they put a guy on the moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. I'm gonna get back to my crossword puzzle here. Yeah, all right. Don't hurt yourself with that number two pencil.
going into the last 20 minutes of the stream. According to Henry, if I put down a single guard violently, I lose out to a third of the payout. These are armed security guards. Damn it. Season some military fuel surplus stamps. Let's get out of here. Get down over here! Oh. Reloading! Let's see what you got, scumbag! This is the Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire. Hey, 
Cover me, I'm reloading! I was having a good day till I met you. Oh, dead. Cartoons. All that money to watch some cartoons. Oh, man. Salesman said when the war's over, they're supposed to start showing ball games on it, too. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But listen, I was watching them cartoons, and it gave me an idea. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, Einstein, let's hear it. Now, listen to this. What if you could control the cartoon? What do you mean? You know, control it. You can make the little guy on the screen do things. You can make him run around, drive a car, maybe even uh, have him shoot a gun, shoot things with. Have you been sniffing glue? How the hell are they gonna do that? Listen, I ain't worked that out yet. Look, you probably have to have some sort of box with buttons on it that controls the guy on the screen. I mean, one button would make him walk, the other would make him shoot, one would maybe make him gun. Oh, uh, yeah, that's your brilliant idea, huh? That sounds interesting, but it ain't never gonna happen. Sure These are actual propaganda posters. Uh huh. Sure they will. Right after they put a guy on the moon. <laughs> yeah, all right. Don't hurt yourself with that number two pencil. Come on, pal. Let's talk about this downtown. This is the Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire. Come on, let's hurry this up. This ship comes over. Bye bye. I'm reloading!
up, buddy? Ah, just a scratch. Boom! I love when it blows up right off that beat. Cartoons. All that money to watch some cartoons. Oh, man. Salesman said when the war is over, they're supposed to start showing board games on it, too. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But listen, I was watching them cartoons, and it gave me an idea. Oh, here we go. Okay, Einstein, let's hear it. What do you mean? You know, control it. You can make the little guy on the screen do things. You can make him run around. But there's a two part to, to this mission. Maybe even, uh, have him shoot a gun. Which shoot I'll do things. off stream. Have you been sniffing glue? How the hell are they gonna do that? Listen, I ain't worked that out yet. Look, you probably have to have some sort of box with buttons on it that controls the guy on the screen. So it's the last ten minutes. Walk, the other would make him shoot. One would maybe make him. Oh, yeah, that's your brilliant idea, huh? That sounds interesting, but it ain't never gonna happen. Oh, yeah? I'm sure someone will figure it out someday. my words on that. Uh-huh. Sure they will. Right after they put a guy on the moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. I'm gonna get back to my crosswood puzzle. Yeah, all right. Don't hurt yourself with... Hey, Lou! He's got me pinned! This is the Empire Bay Police Department. We have you surrounded. Come out with your hands up. If you do not surrender immediately, we will open fire. Bye bye. I dare you to come through the door. gonna make it to court. Wanna bet? You scared me. <laughs> See if you can get around behind him. Jump! <laughs> <laughs> 
come in. Take that, sucker. All right, who else wants it? Out. I'll give you a free ride downtown. Huh. No, I'll give you a trip to the morgue. How about that? You got a sucker? Punk ass out. Oh, that's it. I think I'll be getting the fuck out of here. watching the stream with me. one's gonna cost you, sir. It's not for the robbery. Alright, here you go. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up.
Okay, folks, this is going to be part one of episode one of Mafia 2 on the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. So I'm going to extend this to another hour. So coming right up. Stick around.